Welcome to another edition of Two Old Guys Review Entertainment. And today we're taking a look at a, a, a wonderful film called American Fiction. We saw it on Amazon, hmm. um, and it was released actually just, uh, whatever, six months ago, right. uh, theatrically, in time to qualify for Academy Awards, where it won an award for Best Writing. Mm -hmm. Best Adapted Screenplay. Yep. Yeah. Adapted screenplay. That's right. that's the actual award. Thank you. Right. So the the screenplay or the award went to um, the director, producer, and the author of the book upon which it's uh, it's based. And the um, let's see, I have this here. Some of the original book was called Erasure, and it's a wonderful book. Not that I've read it, but this movie. It's fabulous. It, it absolutely, Art, did you like it as yeah, much as I did? We're, we're going to cut to the chase. It absolutely was terrific. Absolutely terrific. Yeah. One of the best. I, I told my wife when we watched it together, I thought it was one of the best films I've ever seen. It was so unique. It had <laughs> so many unexpected, beautiful ways it told the story. I'm not going to spoil it yes. for anybody. That I was just... Because I normally, by the time we get halfway through a movie, have a pretty good sense of how it's going to be, you know, how it's going to end. So, and it was just, it was so uniquely well done. Uh, so let I, me give a quick synopsis. Sure. Because people don't, if you haven't seen the movie, you don't know what we're talking about or why we love it. Mm. Um, it is a uniquely black movie in the sense, I hate to position it that way. Not noir. But it talks about race in America. Mm -hmm. And it talks about it so intelligently, so honestly, and so funnily, humorously, um, that I was just taken with it. So here's the story. Um, Jeffrey Wright, who I love as an actor, uh, has is a frustrated novelist and a professor at a university. And he keeps writing these books. He's He's trying to write a great novel. And he's black, so... His publisher and the the uh, the literary industry keeps positioning him as a black author and rejecting him because he's quote not black enough right. if you can get that. So this book and 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 this whole movie is told from the black point of view, if you will. It, it's really not, but it, it's so good. Um, so the the professor gets frustrated. He decides that all this trash out there that is being published and people are making money off of uh, th that are black books about the black experience, things like that, are trash. And he gets so frustrated, he says, well, I can write that crap. And he sits down and he writes a really crappy black, quote, black novel. Mm. And don't you know, it sells. And it sells for a million bucks or a lot of money, more money than he's ever contemplated in his life. And he's even more frustrated because he's been trying to write good literature and this crap sells and he's making money and he doesn't know what to do about it. Anyway, the irony of this all is just, it's just so delicious. And as the story progresses, it's just wonderful. Great acting. Jeffrey Wright was terrific. Mm -hmm. um, I think I wrote down the names of some of the other actors here. Uh, Leslie Uggams. Was, Leslie Uggams plays her, a, a demented the, mother. Uh, the daughter of uh, who was it? the daughter of uh, a big uh, star. She's a star in of herself. Uh, Tracy Ellis Ro Ross, right, played Diane, Diane, daughter of Diana Ross, right. does a great job. Yeah, and Erica Alexandra Alexander is the the girlfriend. Just wonderful acting and a great story. Um, Percival Everett wrote the book and. Jefferson adapted it for the screenplay and directed it. Yeah, I want to I want to add something here, John. That this is first of all what makes it even more amazing. This is a first time effort for the director, and for yes. many, many of the people involved. But the acting, you know, you uh, you're absolutely right to call it a black uh, uh, movie. Uh, uh, it actually happens to be noir as well in, in some cases, but I mean a black it experience. Uh, but really. The family members, we either have them in our own family, black, white, Asian-American, American, American yeah. Indian, doesn't matter what it is. Sure. You can see 
these family dynamics of dysfunctional family. Yeah. Okay. And the fact that it's black is only only sort of like it's an important part of the story, but it becomes secondary to the fact that it's about forgiveness, it's about families, it's about yeah. uh, caring, it's about marginalized people who, uh, uh, when I say marginalized, marginalized by society, who have a yeah. richness of texture yeah. for them. And we don't want to give away, we don't want to ruin a thing about you watching this movie because yeah. it is so terrific, so well yeah. done, so many great devices that I, quite frankly, I haven't even seen before in the way the storytelling is, is done. Uh, it was an absolutely delight uh, to watch. It's yeah. on, uh, what, what would we say, it's on uh, Prime? Amazon. Amazon Prime. Amazon which, Prime, yeah. Which 99% of the people in the world have because they get Prime delivery of uh, their goods from Amazon. And the yeah. video part is part of it. Uh, it's no extra fee. It was just absolutely... Yeah. When God got over it, it really was terrific. I, it was totally so unexpected. I, I, I agree. And the irony, the, the deliciousness of this movie is just what you mentioned. And that is the irony that he's trying to write a great novel, not a black novel. And what sells is the, quote, black novel. Right. And this movie is not a black movie. It's a great movie with a great story. But we have to recognize that in the state of race race relations sure. today this is a quote black movie and that's the irony of the whole thing this movie is intelligent and funny it's just wonderful yeah agree so uh, right now uh, don't even wait for the final credits uh, when we sign off go to prime and and uh, yep. watch it you're going to have an absolutely delightful time and if not then uh, talk to my partner <laughs> let us know if you agree. Leave us a like or a comment and uh, let us know what else we should review that you might want an opinion on. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.